Hi guys, it's me again for another running shoe review. For today, it will be the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0. As a disclaimer, I bought this shoe with my own money. I've just finished my entire Under Armour shoe lineup. Now I'm going to go to my Adidas lineup. This shoe is a neutral running shoe, quite flexible. US size 10.5, it weighs 11.6 ounce or 330 grams. A bit heavy, but it's okay. Going to the specs. The upper is made up of parlay. It's quite comfortable and breathable and stretchy. It has a cage for a more a secure, secure and a lockdown feel. The laces are, are flat. It's a booty construction. The heel collar and heel padding is quite okay. Again, there's space on the middle. There's an insole, but only uh, it's quite thin. Going to the midsole. It's a full length boost midsole. It's color black. So you don't have to worry about it turning yellow after a few years. The outsole is made up of continental rubber, spider web design. It also has a torsion system. This uh, torsion system up provides a stable ride. It uh, isolates the heel when the forefoot is moving. Going to the performance, this shoe doesn't need a break-in period. The midsole and the upper is quite stretchy and soft from the start. You can use this shoe for your 5K, 10K, and even uh, 21K runs, but not for marathon. For durability, I believe the outsole will last up to 400 to 500 miles. It's quite grippy, even in uh, wet roads. What's unique about this shoe is that you can use this for running and lifestyle use. Many people buy this shoe for lifestyle use because it's so comfortable. Yes, the upper is quite comfortable because of the parlay. I've only run with this shoe about 30 kilometers and uh, about 20 kilometers for lifestyle use because it's that comfortable. It has no reflective material because it's pure cloth, pure prime knit I mean. It also has this uh, stability gadget here, I believe. It's connected to the torsion system. I think it's for uh, over pronators. It has a 10 millimeter drop from uh, heel to forefoot. Regarding the ride, it was a smooth and bouncy ride. Quite a bit uh, unstable sometimes. And also sometimes my, because of the stretchable upper, stretchy upper, my foot sometimes do like this. But it's okay. So would I recommend this shoe? Yes. You have a, a shoe that is good for lifestyle and running. I would buy, uh, I, I believe, uh, two more pairs of this. But mostly for uh, lifestyle use, of course. So that's it, guys. If you like the video, kindly click the like button below and put your inquiries or uh, questions on the comment section. And subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.